Hello there, and welcome to the next episode of Veterans Onward to Prosperity. I'm your host, Master Sergeant Retired, Anna Maria Blivin. And you know what? This is a continuation of the entire month of Mission Networking Possible. Why do you think we're taking this time to do a whole month on networking? Well, let me reiterate what's already been said. You can't do it alone. In the military, we couldn't do it alone. We had a squad, we had a unit, we had a division, we had a brigade, we had a battalion. We had a team of people to make that mission. Whatever mission it was, we made it possible. We met our goal or exceeded our goal in whatever it was that we needed to do and we got it done, but you didn't do it alone. Now it's mission you possible. So this month has all been about you and making it possible for you to move forward. So this episode is a continuation of mission networking possible of all the other episodes, but this guest is someone that you really need to meet because he will help you with the first step. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Today, we have Tim Richardson. Tim, you are a military veteran of which branch? Honorably discharged from Uncle Sam's Army. All righty. Yeah. <laughs> and we won't talk about the year that you were that you uh, separated from the Army. Well, but... 1972, just in case anybody was curious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but so what you've been up to since then? Oh my gosh, a whole lot of stuff. But what brought us to where we are today happened about three years ago. I was uh, had finished Bible school and I was doing the third year. And in the meantime, I was trying to help somebody else do something else uh, who's also a veteran. But uh, he, like I, were concerned about the failure rate of people uh, veterans and otherwise, okay, go off the rails as we refer to it, or as we commonly refer to them as the broken, busted, and disgusted, and I've been there. So um, that conversation led to my starting in 2019, Hope Advanced. And so we just work with people, uh, and a lot of them, are they're from all walks of life, male, female, military, otherwise, active duty, not active duty, um, and just help people navigate to their next best steps because there's a it's been a real strange world we lived in lately, and that's what got us here. I don't know if that's the answer you're looking for, but that's one I gave you. So, so let's go back to what you said about you've been there. Most yeah. of the time, that uh, mm -hmm. when we're in a stuck position, yeah. we cannot see our way out of it. So, how did you get out of it? Well, that's a good question. Uh, mine, I would have to call it as from a faith-based standpoint. Um, not everybody's going to agree with it, and that's not my point, but at some point, you got to figure out that it ain't all about you, 
and you can't do it yourself. You think you can do it yourself, you're watching way too many movies, okay? Because even the, the good guys that win have a lot of help to get there. And the bad guys get help too, okay? Depends on where, what your goal is. But um, I just think of so many, so many mistakes I made. Fortunately, they weren't in the military. Wouldn't you know it? I think they watched me too closely. Uh, but before the military and after the military, if you just, you know, I always thought I was the smartest person in the room. And, and almost without it, any exception, ended up proving that I wasn't, okay? And, but I did find out if you're concerned about people, you decide to collaborate with people, you decide to walk beside people, not push them, drag them, or knock them out of the way, you get a really interesting, uh, different result out of your life. And it's not frustration being broken, busted, and disgusted. I'm glad you said that because we in the military are trained to do one thing and do it well. And yeah. that's our mission and that's our job. Okay. But then after you leave, it's kind of like getting, you're a four-legged stool and now you become a three-legged stool. Right. How do you grow that fourth leg? And the only way to do it really is with each other. Exactly. I mean, come on, some of the best times we've all had in our lives because we found somebody who is a quote unquote kindred spirit, drunk or sober, hopefully sober, you just had great conversations. And you just found you didn't have to agree with everything. You didn't have to like all the same things, but you got along and you allowed the other person to be who they were. But somehow when we get into the tough spots, uh, we forget that. So Assuming we're not self-medicating with alcohol and drugs, which a lot of people do, it's a fact, we know that, but as sober-minded as you can possibly be, you need to start seeking out people that you can work with, okay? I, I don't know what, the word work bothers some people, but come on, it takes work. You got to do some effort and, and you got to get outside of yourself. So I think in the worst of times, if you'll put yourself someplace where you can be helpful to people who are in worse straits than you are, you'll pretty soon find out that your little pity party ain't much, okay? Right, right. So um, if you're someone who is in a stuck position, right. this is Veterans Onward to Prosperity. Right. This is so that you're not gonna stay in a stuck position. And we're going to continue this conversation right after these messages. Let me introduce you to Frank Sinclair. He has a business called Dream Again Business Consulting. Frank believes that you were put on this earth for a specific reason. It's his job to find out why. If we follow the natural course of your life in your story, it always leads to your purpose. Hey vets, you know who I am. This is Ranger Johnson, and I want to help you to get the VA disability rating that you deserve. And if you want to know more about the Ranger method, please go to Champions for Veterans dot com and schedule a free consultation now stay in the fight hi and welcome back i'm master sergeant retired anna maria Bliven, and in our studio today we have our army veteran tim richardson and he and his wife are in into something really extraordinary. Can you tell us more about that? Well, yes, it's extraordinary in that it's the most simple thing in the world, but it turns out to be extraordinary. Um, I have to give a quick story because I think it'll bring the point home as, as to what we do and, and why it turns out to be in and of itself extraordinary. That wasn't what we were trying to do, but uh, when people go through a mess, and they go off the rails as we refer to it, they try to climb back, back out of that mess and oftentimes they just fail pretty miserably. 
So I'm going to give you a quick story. It's not military related, but it gets the point home and it probably can be found in the military community, unfortunately. But uh, know someone whose son had a major car accident seven or eight years ago. Part of his recovery was pain meds, which was opioids, which put him on the street. In two years, his life was completely shot. So dad, and this was not a kid. He was in his early 30s. Dad found him, got him into a rehab, dropped 30 grand. Six days later, the son ran off, and so did dad's 30 grand. Then dad found him again, got him into, quote unquote, a Christian rehab. And the fact is, it took. Uh, he got his head and his heart straight. And in the meantime, Home Depot worked with that rehab and from time to time would see if there were people in there that maybe they could work with. Well, they did. This guy's name is the same as mine. His name was Tim. Um, as of two years ago, Tim out of rehab was managing two Home Depot stores. That's a big deal. And fast tracking for regional manager. Now you say, well, that's great. That's success. Where's the sad part about that? Well, the sad part is the rest of the story is that he went through rehab with 45 guys. 43 of them are dead, gone, not here anymore. Only himself and a friend of his got through that thing and came out on the other end of it, if you speak. So once everything's all said and done and the rehab's done what they do and VA's done what they've done and this, that, and the other, I'm not picking on the government, not picking on VA, not picking on anybody doing anything with trying to get people back on track to their best lives. But if it's working so well, how come do we have such massive failure? Oh my gosh, Tim, I asked that question too. So, I do. Yeah, so what we did, my wife Brownie and I, we uh, decided to set up a system, system, I, that's probably not a good word, but our system is people knowing us through networking, which we'll talk about found out who we are, what we do, and people would be referred to us and say, hey, maybe these people can help you. So what we do is we sit down with people, Anna Maria, that at no cost, no obligation, basically with a sheet of paper and a pencil, okay? Mm -hmm. And we start to map out where they came from, who they are now, and where do you want to go? We are called Hope Advanced, and it's not our hope, it's your hope. And it's not us advancing you, but it's us working together to get you to your next best steps for you. Now, as simple as that sounds, number one, it's not fill out this clipboard and we'll see you in two days. Okay. It's let's, let's if you want to start a conversation, we'll do it. We may have to do a short one, a long one, several of them, that's fine. But at some point we come to a place where here's where we think maybe you you believe are the best places to go we believe are maybe better or different places, but let's get an agreement on something and let's move forward. Let's advance. Well, that sounds military, doesn't it? Okay. Um, and really the interesting part is it works. Now there's some people we don't work with because they're not ready for that. And we're not dragging them, hooking them, throwing Bibles and crosses at them or anything else. We're just simply starting a conversation and we're looking them dead in the eye and say, okay, that's the mess. Here's where you are now. And my internal comment, if I don't say it out loud, is so what? Who cares? None of that matters. Okay. Yeah. Happens on the battlefield and it happens on life. Yeah. This is what happened. Okay. Well, we can cuss, kick, scream about that. But what do we do now? Right. And that's what hope advances about. What can we do now to help you move forward? Not give you stuff, though it's information you know, a shoulder to cry on. I got a whole office full of Kleenex boxes, believe it or not, male and female. So nobody's immune to tears, but let's, let's go forward. Let's not back up anymore. Let's quit screwing around and doing the same things we've already done and get the same result. Let's do something different. Right. Let's stop this insanity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're going to pick up right uh, with that in mind, right after these messages. Ron salutes as a LinkedIn business strategist and relationship advisor. 
He's the co-author of 21 Days to Success with LinkedIn. He's a guest speaker for the U.S. Army on Veteran Transition. Contact Ron at his website. Mike Merwin here, U.S. Navy retired submarine officer turned entrepreneur. I turned my hobby of 25 plus years making beef jerky into a thriving small business. Made in small batches with only high quality ingredients, it's not good, it's crazy good. A portion of all proceeds helps save military lives. Order now on www.crazymikesjerky.com using code CB10 for 10% off. And welcome back. I'm your host, Master Sergeant Retired Anna Maria Bowman with Veterans Onward to Prosperity. And we are privileged today to be talking with Tim Richardson, the founder of Hope Advanced. And he's in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And he's also working with other organizations in Colorado. So because we know we have veterans that are in places outside of Colorado Springs that also are broken, busted, and disgusted, as you said, and spinning in a wheel of insanity. So Hope Advance gets you off the wheel and onto a path. I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how do they find you? Well, pretty simple. Uh, in today's world, you can go to your, Y-O-U-R, Hope, advanced that's with the d on the end of it dot com our website's there it's a little bit under construction but it's it's everything you need to know is there and you can get uh contact us through that or you can call me directly area code 502 sounds like kentucky it was okay 502-439-0000 Five six. One more time. 502-439-0456 or your hope advanced with a D on it at yahoo.com. Your hope advanced at yahoo. At you, you at yahoo.com. Excuse me. That's what I want to say. The email. Your hope advanced at yahoo.com. Yahoo. <laughs> now, if, if you got a sad story, go, you're welcome to tell me. Or, or email it to me or make it a PDF. But when it's done, we're going to look at each other and say, okay, what do we do now? Okay. That's right. who we are. I'm not, you know, I'll cry with you if I need to. I'll pray with you if we need to. That's not the problem. But the issue is where you want to go. Right. And again, this is Veterans Onward to Prosperity. We're all about making an onward motion. We get that you're a stuck. We get that you're in a funk. Hello, we were there too. Yep. And that's one of the reasons why I asked him, how did you get out of it? So it's different ways for different people. But the point yep. is, you get out of it yep. and you move forward. And your hope advanced, right? Exactly. Is the starting place. Yep. So you don't necessarily have to live in Colorado. No. to get your help. No, I may not have all the resources that I have here, but listen, come on. This is, if we're going to help one another, does that mean you need to know everything? No, but I need to know enough if we're going to have a relationship where I can find, I can find a place and people to go to that can help you where you are. Is it a perfect system? Of course not. But the fact is it's more perfect than sitting around stewing in your juices and staying stuck. Yes. You know, <laughs> the show is all about information, sources, and resources. And Your Hope Advanced, while it is located in Colorado Springs, is not limited to if only you're in Colorado Springs. Exactly. So if you're a military veteran or a military warrior, and you are in a funk, and you are stuck, and you don't know how to get out of it, Tim and his organization is there for you. So by all means, reach out. 
that's another thing, mm -hmm. Tim. Yep. What makes it so that we we don't want to reach out or we don't reach out? It's really a good question. It's it's that space between your ears. That's where you live your whole life. So, and this is going to sound a little cute, but it's not. This is not trying to be cute. It's being dead serious. When you learn to do and or think what you need to do or think, whether you like to do or think it or not, you're going to find out that what you didn't like to do or think you really do and what you didn't like to think or do you really don't. So let me say it another way. When you learn to do what you need to do and ought to do, whether you like to do it or not, you will find out that what you thought you liked to do, you really don't. Why? Because it don't work. And a lot, listen, you hated the drill sergeant when he put you through all that stuff. Okay. But, it, and the same way with football practice or anything else you have to do hard work to, but there's a, there's a reason you're doing that. And it's to come out on the other side, being the best person you can be. You're talking about prosperity. Prosperity is not money guys and gals prosperity is your entire life okay you're a prosperous thinker you're a giver you're not a taker you're a getting involver not just a cry baby and telling everybody else what the monday morning quarterback stuff forget that but listen this isn't about us being heroes this is about us moving forward together so yeah. that's the attitude you got to have. So if what you're, where you're in and what you're doing isn't getting you where you want to go, I'm not the magic button, telephone call or email, but together I bet we can get you moving forward. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've been telling people that prosperity is not the same as wealthy because I know no. some wealthy people that are not prosperous. No, they're, they're sitting with a gun to their head in a 10,000 square foot house going, is that all there is? Yeah. I think it isn't true. You're not digging in the news far enough. Okay. This is it's true. There. It's happening right now everywhere. Okay. This is very it's true. Is. Prosperity, folks, is knowing that you have what you need, like he was just talking about, and, and you're doing what it is that you love to do, and you have more to give other people. That's being prosperous. And so with that, thank you, Tim, for helping putting us on the path. I call it the path to prosperity. Yes. Well, we're going to wrap this up right after these messages. All about inclusion and really giving everyone a fair say. Welcome to the Today Show. This is our flagship show. I am Unstoppable Tracy. I am Zach Damon. It is a pleasure to be here. I am excited. What is up? We have a great show today. Jay Stoyan here for the Disability Channel, the world's only inclusive channel for and by persons with disabilities. Get ready to be inspired, everyone. We have people watching from all over the world, but also all over Ontario. We also take a concerted attention in the veterans community. In moments of stress and trauma, we can get a hold of ourselves. To help make a difference for people with disabilities, to show people how to love themselves or their disability. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me, giving this platform for myself and other people with disabilities. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this episode of the Disability Channel of Detroit. Please tune in next time. that you don't have to stay stuck. We don't want you to stay stuck. I bet you don't even want to stay stuck. So let's get out of the funk. Let's make a, let's make a promise to ourselves. This may be mission networking possible, but how about we also make this mission you possible? Yeah. 
you can definitely move forward. Adapt and overcome is something that was drilled into us from basic training onward. So adapt and overcome in your own circumstances, but you don't do it alone. This is what Tim was telling you about. And this is the networking part where you reach out. You know, I take it that it's strength and courage that makes that happen. Guess what? You've got it. You got the strength and courage. So use that strength and courage to get on the path of prosperity. First step first, reach out. Your hope advanced is a great place to start on that path. And Tim and his folks are there for you. They'll catch you. They'll cry with you. They'll do everything they can to help you get over whatever it is that you need to get over so then you can move forward. So with that, I hope and encourage everyone that's listening to this conversation between me and Tim that in the wrap up of this month of Mission Networking Possible, you totally understand how it's possible for you to use us, <laughs> the fellow military brethren, sistern, all of us. Because you know what? No man is an island. We're never meant to be an island. We're always meant right. to be together and we'll work together to help each other move forward. So thank you for staying tuned to Veterans Armor to Prosperity. Next month will be a different theme, but be the best you you can be.